we are going to unveil my new Magic Trackpad 2 and see how it works. Alright, so pairing occurs automatically. As soon as you plug it in, it tells you that it's paired wirelessly automatically. Right now I'm testing it out and it seems to be working just fine without doing any type of configuration whatsoever. It acts just like my MacBook Pro trackpad, except it's bigger. Now let's unplug this and see, without it being charged, if it pairs quickly with the MacBook and it is still paired that quick and it responds really good. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm so glad I bought this. Well, so far the trackpad works just like my trackpad on the MacBook Pro. I'm loving it. There's a couple of different settings that we can have here uh, that are similar to what you have on your MacBook Pro. So I won't get into too much of this, but it tells you the battery level. Now out of the box, I started off with 89% battery. I literally plugged it in just to pair for literally one second and then I unplugged it. Um, then you have your typical scroll and zoom settings and your gestures. These are all set up just the same way as my MacBook Pro. So I'm not going to adjust any of these, but I want to show you that um, the, the use of everything is the same. If I wanted to switch between screens, I can do that. I can I can scroll up or down. I can use the desktop or the to get to the desktop. You know everything is 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 a very similar feeling. I don't have to relearn anything. So this trackpad is so far really nice, and the haptic feedback is is nice too. I put it on silent, so if I click on it, I can hear it or feel it, and I don't really need to make a noise. But if you if you unclick silent clicking and I click, it does make a small clicking noise. Let me see if I can get you to hear it just a moment. So that's without being silent. Now if I click on silent, let's let me click it now. Ready? Listen. So it does it definitely tries to be more quiet. 